So MUNS is what we call a multi-object spectrograph. Multi-object is the key word to highlight on this. Uh, the questions that we want to understand is, if we want to observe an astronomical object, we can understand its properties. What properties does a star or a galaxy have? And so we can understand their origin. If you do that for 10 of those galaxies, you start doing what we call statistics. We can understand a bit more of the different properties of environment, or what things influence this process. If we do it for 100, that's even better. If we do it for 1,000, that would be ideal. That's where MOONS comes into place. It allows us to collect information, to gather the light of 1,000 objects at the same time and disperse their light. That's why we call it a spectrograph. Separate the light into the different wavelengths to really get the details of the properties of all of these objects. What are they made of and how are they moving in space? We use a thousand uh, optical fibers positioned by very, very precise uh, robotic arms in the focal plane of a telescope so that we can align them very precisely to objects on the sky of interest, a star or a galaxy, so we can collect their light via all these optical fibers. Then the light from those uh, fibers is passed into a giant vessel. That's where the light gets dispersed, gets separated into the wavelengths so that we can put it, uh, project the light into detectors, and then we can investigate the properties of all of these objects. So 1,000 objects on a single shot allows us that in the lifetime of the instrument, 10 years of lifetime, for example, we are collecting millions, so the information for millions and millions of uh, stars and galaxies to really understand how galaxies evolve across the, the universe. In order for you to um, get one shot of moons with current instrumentation, with one shot I mean get the same amount of information that you are collecting with one single observation of moons, you will need to observe more than five different instruments for a much, much longer time than you would do with moons. Uh, so in terms of the efficiency of how you can do it, the, the samples that you are collecting and the details that you are collecting, there is nothing like it. You cannot do it with current facilities.